Greetings VAC enthusiasts. So I've just recently in the last 24 hours or so posted a video that seems to say, because it's my spreadsheet video, my wonderfully incredibly uh, entertaining spreadsheet video, that suction has almost no role in vacuuming. And that's not entirely the case. So what I want to show you here is two very different machines. I have a 1988 Heritage 2 Legend and a 2015 Dyson DC65. And this isn't an absolute value test. This is going to be like a difference test. In fact, we're going to look at airflow losses over a distance. I'm going to start out at six feet and then I'm going to put this Centria 2 hose on the end of it and you say, wait a minute, why did you use that type of hose arrangement? Because this fits in very tight with this. But if I get two of these, this nozzle part here doesn't fit in very well at all. So I used, a, I used the older hose to get a, a tighter fit. So we're going to go at six feet then of course I'm going to stretch the DC65 hose out to six feet. Then I'm also going to continue stretching it all the way out to 13 and a half feet. And then we're going to take a look at the difference in airflow losses between the two machines. So this Heritage 2 Legend at the hose end measures about 36 inches of water lift and at the hose end for the DC65 we're looking at 105 inches of lift. So even though the airflow is a lot different, the suction levels are tremendously different. I got the full length. I'll come out to about 13 and a half feet or so, and we're gonna see about a six. So we started at 106 CFM, that's an eight and a half, and we dropped down to a six by essentially doubling it from like six and a half to 13 and a half uh, feet, and we lost 13 CFM, went from 106 down to 93. That's with 36 inches of water lift. All right, let's repeat the test with the Dyson. Okay, so we're going with the DC65 now. And we're sitting pretty much at a three. There we go. And you see we're at the same distance there, about six feet. All right, now I'm gonna stretch this hose out. And hopefully the 65 won't come after me. All right, let's see how we're doing and see the difference. So we are stretched out. We're at about 13 some odd feet. And here we are at about two and a half on the Baird meter. So we only lost a half a Baird meter scale. And what that ends up meaning is we started at 69 CFM and then we stretched it out, 65 and a half. We only lost three and a half CFM. So we have almost triple the amount of water lift. See the Kirby there is at 36 and the Dyson's at 105. So if you need to make air travel over long distances, you need as much suction as you can tolerate if you want to maintain airflow. All right, thanks for watching and more to come.